Hey everybody, so before we get started, we're going to need to make sure that we have one, an Apple ID and password, and this is a free account, this is the same one you'd use to sign into the uh, App Store or iTunes. You're also going to need to make sure that you have Xcode installed, and that you have it installed into your Applications folder, which is important. And third, you're going to need to make sure you have your iPhone physically with you, and with a physical connection to your computer via the USB port. Um, and then fourth, you're going to need some pictures here, which are required to export. But we'll get into that a little more in a bit. So first thing we're going to do is go Project, Export. Okay, now I already have this here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. There it is, delete. And I'm going to click Add, iOS. Okay, now you see that these three things pop up. Now, this is what might worry you, right, is that you see this App Store Team ID. You can literally put uh, anything here, just as long as you don't have spaces or characters. So I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five. Um, the first time I did this, I put my Apple ID in because I thought that made sense and used the at sign and that was actually breaking it and causing a parse error. So throughout this whole form here, just make sure you don't use spaces or any special characters, underlines, anything like that. Okay, just use basic characters and no caps. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead, uh, I'll choose this actually right now. You, it's really important that you export your project outside of your uh, uh, game file, your project file. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So do, do, do. here is the actual project file. And so we're outside of it right now. I'm going to create a new folder called, um, this game is called Fishbowl um, iOS export. Okay. Click that. I'm going to click save. Okay. And now we've got our path specified. Again, App Store Team ID 12345. You can go ahead, code sign, identity debug. Yep, you can just leave that as the default game name. Again, uh, do not put a space here. I'm just going to put fishbowl with no caps. Info, I'm going to clear this. Doesn't really matter, though. Uh, identifier, this is important. Again, this is giving us a little alarm here. So just put com. And then your name, I'm just going to put uh, ACB games here. And then the name of your game, so Fishbowl. Again, make sure you're not putting any caps or uh, special characters, because that will break it. Then down here in Capabilities, we're going to go ahead and uncheck Game Center, even though this seems not to let the app know that we don't need Game Center. But just go ahead and do that. Make sure you have the Game Center unchecked. Uh, you want to have all these unchecked, but that should be the only one checked in by default. Um, you can leave all these the same. And then here are the required icons. You need iPhone, iPad, and App Store. And so you see they give you the resolutions you need here. I actually haven't tried just using the wrong resolutions and seeing if, if they work. Uh, I just went ahead and made those resolutions in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, uh, I'm sure there's some websites that will do it for you, or you can just download Krita, which K-R-I-T-A, which is a free, basically, analog to Photoshop. So I've got these, and these can be in your, uh, um, your folder here, and I do have these. So first one is the iPhone which is 120 by 120, iPad, App icons, iPad, and then App Store. Okay, and once you've got all those, you are ready to uh, export. I'm going to leave this on ARM64. You can use ARM7 uh, if you're interested. Um, these are also, again, optional. Uh, I think it defaults to just a white screen if you leave them, but yeah. Yeah, so then we're ready. We're going to go ahead and click Export Project. Again, we specified the path outside of our project folder, which is very important, and we're going to click Save. Okay. Now, go ahead and scroll through this. Make sure you're not seeing any red. If you see some red, there's probably an issue, and you can uh, read it and see what's wrong. All right, so once we've gotten that exported, we're just going to navigate to that file here. I uh, actually already had it open there. Uh, Godot code, fishbowl iOS export, and there we go. Now you'll see this Xcode project folder along with a PCK folder and some other stuff. And you're just going to double click to open the Xcode project folder. Now, if when you do that, you see a little pop up here, this is parse error file cannot be opened, you most likely have some kind of special character, space, or capital in the export settings like we talked about, and that will cause that error to pop up. The other thing that could happen, which hasn't happened to me, but I, I've seen online, is that people 
uh, don't have their Xcode running from their applications folder, which for some reason triggers it. So uh, that might be the other thing to check if, if both those aren't working. Otherwise, you're just going to need to go on Google and kind of troubleshoot. But those are the two main things, and hopefully those will resolve your issue. Now, we're in here. We're going to go ahead and click on the project itself, whatever the game name is. Now, if you've got an older version of Xcode, they used to put the signing and capabilities just right here, but we're in the newer version, so it's going to be right up here. Just click it, and you'll see we've got these two alerts, right? Unknown name. And all you're going to do is go and select your account. Now, if you don't have, if you've never done this before, you won't have an account there. Just click add account. And again, we're just going to sign in with our Apple ID, which is a free account from Apple. And this is the same one you'd use to sign into Apple App Store or iTunes or whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to select myself. Okay, now up here, you can see it says any iOS device. And what we're going to go ahead and do is just plug in our iPhone. So I'm just using my FireWire cable, and then it pops up right there, Aaron's phone. You can also use simulators. I haven't set any up yet, but it's pretty simple to set them up. So uh, you can do that if you don't want to put it on your iPhone. Now we're going to go ahead and just click this little play button, which is build and run the current Steam scheme. Uh, you're going to need to make sure your iPhone's unlocked for this. It's building. Now what will happen to you is you'll get uh, build succeeded. Uh, we need to unlock my phone. Okay, and then you'll say could not launch. Okay, and this is expected for only the first time you try to launch the app. Um, we can just ignore that, click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and take you onto my phone so I can show you how to resolve the issue and get your app working. All right, so now we're here on my iPhone. Going to go ahead and open it up. And if we scroll over to the last page or wherever your apps install when you download them from the App Store, I'll go ahead and see your app. Now, if you tap on it, you'll get the same thing, untrusted developer. And fixing this is pretty simple. You just go into your settings. Sorry, already there. Uh, but you scroll down to general. And then down to device management. And there we are. There's your app. And then you just click trust. All right. And that's that should be it. Now we go in here, tap fishbowl. And you can see my game opens no problem. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it, you guys. Um, if you are encountering an issue where you have just like a blank screen for a while, that's probably your game trying to contact Game Center, which is kind of just a weird little bug. I don't quite know why it happens, right? Because, um, you know, we've, we've disabled that, but it, it happens. So that's just something to be aware of that that might happen. And it should only happen the first time that you run the app. And then after that, it should go away. And it takes like about a minute to resolve. But yeah, that's about it. So, I mean, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you do, please drop a like and a subscribe. Let me know any other ideas you've got for videos. And uh, yeah, have a great day.